So you have probably haven't done much brazing, I assume. Yeah, this whole house. Really? Yeah, it's all copper. <laughs> so but, I'm. But with what with plumbing, you know, you can always use flux. Yeah, so I'm actually going to be doing some testing with that Stay Bright Eight. Um, I I'm going to do a bunch of testing, but there's like there's several guys that have been in HVAC for. 30 plus years and that's all they ever use is the stay bright eight what is and that? they it's a soft solder so oh, it's it comes in a roll and you can you can heat it up with uh map gas so you're not actually welding the two together but it's supposed to be stronger like the the psi at which the the union will start to leak is like way higher than brazing which is pretty uh pretty neat <clears throat> but I've I've just always done brazing because it's you know it's just you know, like, uh, <laughs> well I always do a pressure test regardless you know I'll run about 300 psi of nitrogen through it just to make sure there's no problems can you hand me that little plastic baggie right there thank you only runs in the winter oh gotcha the heat and that one only runs in the summer to cool because oh, the floors aren't separated enough, so it just kind of ends up how it, be, how it goes so. <laughs> yeah so the basement always is probably cool in the sum, uh, summer time yeah gotcha that one's the last yeah so. I'm always for you know keeping them going as long as possible was this one um running at all when you guys took it out or no um so the I'm trying to think of which part went out it was part of the condenser went out because these the way they did these when they originally put them the filters inside the box the, the oh yeah fan. The furnace fan. yeah 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 that's a pain in the butt when you have to replace those and it just has like a those little metal things to hold them what? in place. Have... <laughs> All right, so that's good. Yeah, I think we're good there. Gives us plenty of room for the TXV. The thing with this, every time when I try to solder this and it expands this pipe, it wants to shrink Drop. down like that. Um, so sometimes I'll just take a piece of tape and just hold up this side or just something to hold it up. Okay, I'll probably try and just wrap this with a wet rag. That way that won't get um, too hot or anything. Just going to wrap this a little bit.
Sorry about that. It's hit or miss. Sometimes it'll make that go off. Sometimes it don't. I made it off more than once. <laughs> that, the mid big Milwaukee one. Mm -hmm. That are really nice for when you got to put big. looks like that and you don't need that one to put this guy in nope yeah this basically is replaced by this guy it's possible we did see that when we switched it out what do you mean well because doesn't uh... oh because this was pressurized so this has oh, never no. been taken off yeah. okay yeah never mind then we didn't I feel like I saw it, but I don't know where you would put it. I don't know you're seeing something like that, but... No worries. I, it's just another one of those things, like, I've got several of those on my other truck, and it's... The one time that I'm transitioning over would be when I need it. Yeah, I think they give you an extra one because if you mess up this one while you're brazing or something, you've got a spare. So this one will just go right here. Isn't that just like a thermal coupler kind of thing? Is this guy? Thing? Yeah. It's a sensing bulb. Um, it senses the cold? Mm hmm Yeah, it measures the temperature and then based on this pressure and that, it regulates how much goes in. So I'll give you enough insulation to, to do this, but um, this should come with some foam tape. That here. So this just wraps around. And then I've got more of this. Sometimes these don't quite cover it as good as I'd like. So I usually just throw so some extra on there. You, you've done the ones where these have been on the outside before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done them both ways. Sometimes Sometimes it's advantageous to put it on the inside, but for the most part, I I prefer to have it on the outside. So I don't know why they don't give you just a little bit more, but I'll I'll wrap that with some of my own. Check it out, man. What? <laughs> you certainly ordered enough of them. Sure, I got I got two of each. I even got one of these things. Okay. It's getting 
tight. All right. It's like a. Um, yeah, it's like an automotive one. Oh well, yeah, it's like yeah, it's like when you pick it concrete or something. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, these Goodman TXVs are really very easy to install. Uh, if you ordered this as a combo uh, with your system, or um, if you just make sure to get a TXV that's the same tonnage as your AC, and you just want to add a TXV, uh, no adjustment is really needed. So you just check your charge, uh, check the subcooling as it's a TXV, and you're good to go. So hope you found this video helpful. If so, leave it a like, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Later.